The Lead Sheet Association provides a wealth of training and technical advice to those working with rolled lead sheet. This short film, shot at the LSA's training centre, will show you how to install a lead box gutter. Start by measuring and cutting the gutter to length using code 5 lead, also measuring the drip height. For code 5 or 6 lead it should be 55mm or 60mm for code 7 or 8. Unroll and flatten the lead before marking out the bay. Remembering that the maximum girth is 800mm and the maximum length 2 meters if using code 5. Then measure the step. Here 55mm and 25mm at the top to fit into the rebate of the gutter before marking the side. The minimum height of a box gutter side should be 100. However, it is permissible to increase to 200mm for code 5 and 6 or 300mm for code 7 and 8. Mark out the notch in the step ready to fold together. Use a knife to score the lead and bend until it comes away. Then flatten it back down. Do the same on the other side. Wherever the lead will be welded, clean using the shaver before folding up with seaming pliers. Fold the notched end first and flatten using a piece of wood. Then bend the top 25mm for the rebate. Fold up both sides using the timber to dress them, before running the setting in stick along the creases, keeping it moving so you don't dent the lead. Lay the gutter on its side and clean the oxides off a lead strip ready for welding. Light the welding gun, red acetylene nozzle first to get a two inch flame, then bring in the oxygen slowly until the feather disappears. Weld the joints, then turn over and do the other side. Creating the step down into the gutter is the next step. Measure and mark like before, except for the 25mm rebate to form the gutter box. Measure 70mm down from the previous step line and meet the line back up diagonally. Mark the other side in the same way and cut out both pieces. Mark 55mm down for the end of the step and 40mm for the splash lap and start cutting. Using seaming pliers, turn up the splash lap and turn down to form the step. Turn up the sides with a piece of timber, flatten with the dresser and finish off with the chasing dresser. Dress the corners into shape and repeat. The back's now ready to weld. Bend this part down to form the step using the timber as a guide and dress the corners. Flatten an off cut to put in the gap and finish off the step, cleaning off the oxides before welding into place. Use a straight edge to mark corner to corner and cut diagonally for a neat edge before doing the same on the opposite side. Place the gutter in position and dress to fit, finishing with the setting in stick on all edges and the top lip. To finish, nail the top lip 25mm onto the step and fix with copper or stainless steel nails. Then insert the top section, dress into place and fix into the corners with the chaser. And there you have it, job done. If you want to improve your skills in lead work or other hard metals, the LSA runs a number of courses at different levels. For details of courses and other technical information, visit www.leadsheet.co.uk.